Hi, I'm Mike Ford, founder of SiteMinder, and welcome to this week's wrap of the World Hotel Index. Overall, uh, bookings across the globe have actually trended 3.5% upwards over the last week and are now sitting at 45% of last year's um, bookings at the equivalent time. Um, this is an increase, albeit this increase is um, relatively smaller than the prior week period. So um, this week uh, we've seen a 3.5% increase, um, whereas the previous week it, it was greater. So we're seeing a, a slight deceleration um, in the growing booking trends, albeit we um, overall the global bookings are growing. Uh, naturally, we are um, seeing countries at different stages uh, of evolution and according to their own circumstances um, we're seeing um, that they're in different phases of recovery um, you know we, we, we generally bucket these stages of the recovery in, into into sort of four major stages first of those is domestic acceleration which is as you start seeing the local country um, uh, restrictions starting to lift uh, people who have been in lockdown you know want to get out there want to want to um, get throw the shackles of the the home off and get out into the into the world and take a holiday so there's a there's generally a very very sharp um, acceleration in, in bookings as soon as um, as those restrictions are lifted um, so cases in point, uh, you know, recently are France, Spain, Italy, and Canada, which have all st seen steady rises in hotel bookings nationwide um, since gradually opening their, their economies. Uh, France and Spain actually overtook the global average this week and both set at 48% of last year's bookings. So, uh, you know, definitely growing as, as restrictions lift. Uh, only a week ago, France was sitting at 39%. Um, so it's already a 9% increase um, in relative booking volumes um, from from a week ago. So quite rapid acceleration um, that we're seeing in France. Um, of all bookings for the month of June, uh, four in five in both um, Spain and France have been made by um, um, uh, lo local, so um, domestic bookings. Um, this, the second stage that we see uh, so, some nations going through is a plateau or, or even a deceleration. Um, there's been definitely a renewed interest in domestic trips around the world. Uh, it's naturally difficult for domestic travel alone to make up all of the bookings and, and completely return the market to its previous uh, last year levels. So while domestic bookings surge, they can't quite make up up the difference and international um, travel is so restricted right now there's still a gap so you see the initial surge of domestic bookings and you see a plateau and we're seeing this in germany and ireland where bookings have slowed momentarily for nearly two weeks uh, we we're also witnessing the same in thailand and hopefully the you know the thais government's uh, 720 mil domestic tourism stimulus package will go a long way to accelerating recovery here the third stage that we see as recovery takes takes hold uh, after we've seen sort of a, a plateau of bookings is, and you know, whether it's due to increased cases in coronavirus or other political or societal challenges, there's a, a, a simple die down in euphoria and sometimes a, a withdrawal. And certainly in some markets where there's been a resurgence of the virus or second wave phenomena we're seeing now in markets such as the united states and and mexico you know the coronaviruses are, are sadly gaining speed uh, florida's reported to be the next epicenter so perhaps all of that travel we reported on last week to the beach is is, pay, is taking its toll uh, with that speculation we can see that hotel bookings in both Miami and, and Tampa have actually dropped quite sharply uh, after after rising rapidly a couple of weeks ago and then slowing. The final stage of the recovery in hotel bookings and travel generally is the international acceleration. So the return to international travel after countries open up their borders. So at the moment, we're just not seeing people practically traveling within the next six months internationally, but you can see there's uh, some optimism further out as um, there's a, a greater share of international bookings being made in future months uh, uh, beyond the six months, the next six months. 
Uh, importantly, we are a week away from many of the world's previously most visited places opening up in some sort of form, right? So on, on the 1st of July, we'll see some changes in that free movement will recommence between Portugal and Spain and between France and um, some other countries um, outside of the EU. Commercial airlines will also resume in the Maldives, for example. So there's a number of sort of positive uh, stories happening in, in isolated pockets. Hopefully we'll see these these uh, being reflected um, in coming weeks in the in the World Hotel Index. But next Saturday will also mark the reopening of the UK's hotels, pubs, campsites and holiday cottages. Um, already we can see an increase in book booking activity there, with bookings moving from 13.2% of 2019's booking levels to 17.5% just over the last week alone. So that's... Uh, that's this week's wrap uh, from myself. However, feel free to take a spin around, have a look around the World Hotel Index, make your own assertions about what's going on in the world. Uh, hopefully it's useful to you and look forward to catching up again next week.